So welcome to Fred Tone. Today we have University Ghost Hunters on. They mm -hmm. produce a show with WNYF. We have Olivia, who does all of the graphic design for the station and University Ghost Hunters. Dan produces like eight shows and Carl. So, how do you guys expect to find ghosts if they're not real? They are real and we will find one. We already don't know we haven't, but we might. Okay. You know what you should ask Olivia um, about? Her lizard people. Oh, yeah, no. Lizard people are f***ing real. Do you believe in them? I think you are one. I think you are one. No. Yeah. I can tell in the way your eyes are. I can tell in the way your eyes are. That no. you're a lizard person. I think you are one. I think you are one. <laughs> Carl, I heard your brother got arrested. Um, I, yeah, but like, how did you, how the hell did you find that out? Dude, um, don't hey. talk about that on television. It's personal. I don't know, it's not if it's public information. No, it kind of is, Peter. Okay. Yeah, just like, don't talk about that again. Okay. Like, All seriously. Right. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, no doubt. Um, okay, so um, you guys, um, all right guys, well, this has been just irritating, so you guys are done, you can go. Cool. Thank you. All right, good luck to your brother. He actually died? Like, yeah. yeah, dude, like, it wasn't a show <laughs> He came out here and he was, like, really upset. Really? Yeah, yeah really. I didn't know. I th you guys I told me he was arrested. I, it said he was arrested. You legitimately told me I could talk about it. And Olivia said it was cool. I didn't know he was died. Him and Dan came out and yeah, told It's no one's fault. You just yeah. didn't know until after. We didn't know, but, like, Okay. Well, that's not cool. You might want to apologize. Yo, Carl. I didn't know that shit about your brother, dude. They just, they fucking told me it was okay to talk about. So, I'm sorry. Fine. Yeah, seriously. I had no idea. Introducing motivation. Hello, I am Stephanie McGinnis, not McGinnis, McGinnis, and I am here to give all of you lovely people a speech of motivation. All right, a little about me. In between my undergrad and grad, I did an internship at the prison. So... What got me into motivational speaking? I don't want them to gain another yard. You block all night. If they cross the line of scrimmage, I'm going to kick every last one of you out and make sure they remember forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever the night they played the Titans. All right, what are your goals and dreams? 
You, what's your goal and dream? What do you want to do? I'm going to die. Because the earth is going to die and explode and nothing matters. Who are your heroes? Are they people like Michael Jackson or Robin Williams, Paul Walker, Stanley, the dude from Remember the Titans, Marley the dog? They're dead! Because everything dies and nothing matters. Take Ron. Ron, get up here. Yeah, you. Now, Ron, I hear that you don't go to your math class. That's a rumor that uh, the government made up. Okay. Well, it's the easiest math class. No, it's not. On course. On course on this college, and you don't go to it. Did you know that was a square? That's all there is to it. Hello, and welcome back. We got Victoria and Morgan with us here today. Um, so, um, yeah, here on Fredtown, we're going to do our first 100 meter dash. So let's get out the contestants, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Very first 100 meter dash here. <laughs> let's do this, guys. Wow. Ready, man? Oh, you gotta be ready. That was 12 inches, right, buddy? Yeah. You got this, all right? Here's gonna be off. Tell me when you're ready, man. Hey, can you give us an instruction before you start? What's up? So, alright, so basically what's going down here is I got this rope and it's waxed to my boy's chest, right? And that hair, all that hair, all that like gorilla and stuff that's going on right here, it's gonna be off and he's gonna be screaming, he's gonna be on the ground. But that's okay, because the only way to do it is you gotta run, you gotta go, and you gotta run like it never happened. Let's do this. Ready? You ready? On your mark. Okay. Oh my god. Get set. Go. Yeah, you guys are done. Get out. Go. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks Bye. for coming on. Yeah, that was great. Thanks. Yesterday a man attacked me with cheese and milk How dare he? I'm like an elevator You need steps to avoid me You heard about the joke about paper? If you have it, don't, it's terrible I'm like an alligator that works at Wall Street An investigator To the guy that invented zero Thanks for nothing Just so keeps calling me About a one night stand German sausage joke The worst I'm not sure if I like the game Battleship. It's hit or miss. I don't like soccer because I like the sport. I'm in it for the kicks. Yuck. I'm good at sleeping. I can do it with my eyes closed. Stop acting like a flamingo. Put your foot down. You're crabby. And you never give to charity. You shellfish. I'm an annoying pepper. Get a hollop in your face. Yuck. Why do cemetery have fences? Because people dying to get it. And that's where your ass will be when I throw you in the garbage bin. Yuck. When does a joke become a dad joke? When the punchline's apparent. I invent the lightsabers. I got tons of mint. That was my wedding was so beautiful. The cake was in tears. I'm like a beaver. The best skilled one you'll ever meet. <laughs> I'm like a shovel. A clown bake break an invention. You're like Velcro. A total rip off. Are you a vacuum store? Because everything you sell sucks. All right, guys, we're back with Neil and Isaiah, two guys. I mean, we're not back at all. This is our first time. Yeah. Don't lie to us. I'm back. Okay. Well, I'm all right. With you guys. So we're this back with the questions. Come on, hurry the fuck up.
You like to watch hentai. Right? So. Nah, if anything, I'm a reptilian. Like a Komodo dragon. So, uh, what's your favorite hentai? My favorite? Yeah. <sighs> More of a cartoon guy, to be honest. Sorry. Guys, I don't want to do this anymore. Shut up. <laughs> what were you in the army? I hold only, I heard nah, only I little bitches join the army. You're the little bitches join the army! <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. I think he called you a little bitch. All right. You all right? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it was great having you guys on. You guys were really cool. Some really nice guys. <laughs> and, uh, forgot their goodie bags. Hi there! <clears throat> so the cold weather brews and the dryness gets to your skin. A lot of people tend to f uh, f uh, forget about their lower regions, specifically their beehole. hole. Is that campus one ply getting to you? Is your anus trapped? Well, I got a solution for you. Hello, my name is Barry B. Holson, here with a revolutionary new skincare product specifically for your B. Hole. It's famous anus trap stick. Recommended by one out of every ten doctors, famous anus trap stick is the one. And only product for your beehole. Chronic asshole dryness. Please do not have your ass eaten within two hours after application of famous anus chapstick. For more information, please call this number 1 800 ass chap. Again, that's 1 800 ass chap. Please keep your ass fresh and moist. Now in bubble gum and mint flavor. Any one uh, of these? Next guest, Ethan Timms. Come on out, Ethan. All right, thanks, man. All right, see you later, boss. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. What's up, man? How you doing? Just doing, just doing me. Have a seat. You want a goodie bag? Uh, no thanks, I'm vegan. Hey, well, hang on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh oh. That's not Ethan Timms. That's not Ethan Timms. You're a phony. You're an imposter. No, I'm not. Dude, it's me. Pep, Pep, it's me. We've known each other for like years, you know. Ask me anything and I'll prove I'm Ethan. <laughs> All right, yeah, I believe you. Yeah, you're, okay, yeah, you're right. <coughs>